Hi, I'm Dan from Seagull.com and today we're going to be reviewing the setup of the Needle Nose Stand Up Paddleboard Series. We have these boards in various sizes to suit your specific needs and performance desires. So let's get started. The recessed fill valve is located at the tail end of the board. Simply push down on the center valve stem and turn it a quarter turn to the left until it springs into the upright position. Included with your board comes a high volume, high pressure pump and setting it up is quite easy. You'll find that on the top of the pump reads the word inflate with an arrow pointing to that port. Locate your inline pressure gauge and attach it here. Locate your hose and attach it to the pressure gauge. Then you're ready for inflation. The other end of your hose has a recessed valve adapter. Simply stick that into the valve, turn it to the right until it's fully seated and begin inflation. Inflate your board to the proper working pressure of somewhere between 12 and 15 PSI. Sea Eagle has a line of electric pumps to make inflation even easier. Simply set it and forget it. Assembly of the three-part SUP paddle is quite easy. Simply snap the lower end together and slide in the handle. The composite SUP paddle is fully adjustable between 66 and 85 inches. Our carbon fiber paddle is also fully adjustable. Release the locking mechanism and adjust it to your liking. Your last step is to flip your board over and insert your large skeg. The slide-in skeg is a great feature as this allows you to attach it to the board with or without it being inflated. With it, your board will track straight and true and without it, you'll be able to release the tail much easier as well as travel in much shallower waters. Packing up your needle nose is quick and easy. Remove the retaining clip from the skeg and then slide your skeg off. Flip your board over. Before removing the fill cap, always be sure that your face and your head is not directly over the top of the valve. Remove the cap, press down on the valve stem and turn it a quarter turn to the right. Now take your needle nose cone and fold it across your board. You're going to have the tip kind of hanging off the side and begin rolling the board from nose to tail. Now here's an important little tip. You take this corner and you fold it down. When you fold the board across or roll it up, it'll kind of square it off and that'll make folding it up a lot easier. Now that you have the air completely out of your board, you're going to back it off two folds. Grab the tail end and fold it over. What you're looking for is this skeg base. You want it to remain completely flat at all times. So just roll your board back over the top of it. Now in your kit should have came a strap. This isn't a must, but it'll help you keep your board nice and tight. So you simply take the strap, and secure your board with it. Grab your bag. Throw your board inside it. If you find this video helpful and like to see others like it, click on subscribe and subscribe to our YouTube channel.